So welcome again to the absolute best authentication section you're gonna find in the whole internet and i mean that especially that we are using next out like a lot of people use it but they don't use it to its full potential actually make it work in a professional very advanced way to manage every single thing you need about authentication and if you don't know next out simply it's just an authentication tool or package for next.js that's gonna offer us you know it's gonna handle all of our sessions users add into the database login with you know like uh, google facebook any other type of providers or to zero we're going to be able to log in with credentials we just uh, send in emails you know verifying your accounts you can also you know receive passwords create the HTML emails like forms and stuff we're going to do that that, that has nothing to do with next out but it's like part of the authentication and you know sending emails so it's going to be something very 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 exciting it's going to be a long section to work with so um, let me just explain like how it's gonna look like this is like a basic next auth you know application where you have like ability to log in like for example facebook github google twitter and then auth zero so this is actually like gonna be our startup this is what we're gonna try as a startup and then we work with adding like credentials you know and you know make this work first and then add credentials then we're gonna have our register page then send an email so it's gonna be a lot of work and i may even forget something you know something to say but we're gonna take care of everything and you're gonna have the perfect authentication system for Next.js. Like you can search the whole internet, you're not gonna find any section better than this. Like I've done the perfect authentication system in my previous course for the main stack and now for Next.js is gonna be the best because I always provide you the best ones, okay? So it's open source for stack on your data. It's like easy, flexible, secure, all the other stuff. So you probably know what next auth is, and if you don't, you're gonna learn about it now easily. So we're gonna need to add it like in a basic setup. So as a start, you know, the easiest way possible. As you can see, this is on the server side. You have to go to pages and then the folder called API, which we know it, and then we're gonna create a new folder called auth. And then inside this, you're gonna create a file that is like, you have brackets and then three dots and then next auth and then .js. So we can actually do that first. So we can go back. So simply let me open the explorer so you're going to go to pages which you already have then epi and inside this api create a new folder called auth and then a new file inside it that's going to be next auth.js like that okay so this is what you will really need to do and then go back and copy everything inside this by clicking on this button right here and then we're going to paste this here let's close the explorer right here and let me remove the email provider from here right now because this is going to need some other data that we don't have yet right now so let me cut it from here we only have so as you see we only let me remove this from here so we import next out from next out which is something we need to install that's the name of the package and the main important thing so let me open the console or the terminal new tab and then just going to be yarn add and then not yarn yarn add and then next out and then let me just go back and see what's the problem okay sorry yarn add next out like that sorry for the stupid mistake so yarn add next out let it install and as you see we get in the apple provider facebook provider google provider this is like how mainly it works you you import the providers and then inside this next out objects you're just gonna go uh, or function you're gonna go inside it takes an object and it takes like for example an array of providers so for the providers, this is like for social login, like, you know, Google, Facebook, etc. And then you add the provider and provider and every single provider that we will add, we need a client, a client ID and a, a client secret. That means we need to go to the providers themselves and get like the ID for us. And then we're going to get that secret also and we're going to add it in the MV file. So this is exactly how it be. Let me see if it's installed. Okay, so it's done. You can actually see this by just going back to your application. So right here and then go forward slash epi and then we're gonna go auth and then sign in and then we're gonna click enter and this is the page how it's gonna look okay this is all the providers that we we added right here so it's not gonna work because we don't have any you know credentials so it's not gonna be working with us okay so that's the first thing as you see this is not a custom page this is what they give you automatically when you go to epi auth and then sign in so what you can do also you can go back right here if you see we need to add the session provider into the under underscore app.js so that means i gotta take this one as you see it the session provider i need to go back to my application and then pages underscore app i need to import that on top 
for example here and then I need to go back and actually get the session provider and add it to the whole application so we're gonna need to wrap as we've done before wrap this component with that so I can wrap it right here so this session provider and then let me make sure that everything is inside it like that and save so that's very important and we need to do that so you can actually see the session if it exists or not and that means we can see if we are signed in or not just by going and taking this example in the clients page so let me take the import right here and then go back for example into our you know where is it the index.js so after the header and footer between them so let me import that first and then go back and then we can take this right here so but we, we actually don't need to do it this way because let me just show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the const data session so we can get the session. We're going to have it inside right here, the home function. And then simply we're going to see if we have a session or not. So let me take this test. This, this actually shouldn't be this way. But let me just show you. So simply you can go like inside right here and have a test. So if we have a session, that means if we have session, we're going to show like, for example, you are you are locked in okay and then sorry i forgot the question mark so this is when we have a session that means we are locked in as we're just gonna see you are not locked in okay but we're actually gonna show some information this is as a test so i can go back right now and then go back to the home page and then let me zoom in okay so session is not defined okay we already got the session so what's the problem with that Okay, this is kind of weird. Let me just refresh that. I'll say this is in the underscore app. This is not in. Okay, so sorry. Sorry, my problem. We forgot something in the underscore app. We, we forgot something which was to get this session right here from the page props. So we need to go absolutely to the underscore app again. Sorry. And then where is it? So so this is in the page props. We need to actually, you know, destruct that as you see right now. If you go back, you see that we, the page the page props are destructed so we can actually get the page props that we get and also get the session so we need to change it like that okay so now in the page props we get also the session in the service side and then if you go back and actually now refresh this you can see you are not locked in right here okay i didn't want to use that because if we use the return right here that's gonna return and not gonna show the rest of the footer or header like you can try that by just simply going yeah just like that you can do that it's not a problem this, this first video is just like uh, to understand how it actually works, but don't worry, we're going to get in more details later. So you can take all of this like that and change it. And as you see, if you go back right here, you're going to see not signed in and it's going to give the button to sign in. If you click, it's going to take you back to the sign in page like that. So let me remove that because this is very confusing. Let me almost, sorry, maybe if we have the session, let me, let me have the session right here. Okay. So as you see, this is like the most basic way to set up without even <laughs> it's working. So let me remove this from here. So now actually what we need to do is actually like starting with some providers, you know, to actually see if we are like then. So just by simply adding the client's ID and client secret, we just simply done. We can actually start logging and see something. Okay. But we also need few other, uh, you know, data right here that we need to do. So focus with me.